Hello Aquarius, I hope you guys are doing great. So you want a soulmate reading, that's what we're gonna do. First part of this video, we're gonna ask what's coming towards you, what you'll be dealing with, facing, how to best handle it for your highest good. Second part of this video, we're gonna ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're gonna ask uh, how your soulmate is doing, how they are relating to you at this time, especially emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling. So let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius. For Aquarius, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Aquarius? What will Aquarius be dealing with, facing, and how to best handle it for the highest good? Wow, you feel exhausted, but strong. You feel like life is throwing stuff at you from all angles, but... Look how resilient you are. A very strong, resilient individual. Wow. This is you trying to protect yourself, your feelings, your heart. Um, a lot of you are dealing with Leo. Opposite sign. Also um, Sagittarius, Aries. Ugh. You know, Aquarius, I don't know what's going on with you. But as you look at the videos that I do for you. And this happens more with Aquarius than any other sign. I swear to you, any other sign. You get so many times, you get devil energy. Show up in your readings, toxicity, toxic people, toxic situations in your life. Um, that's why I shuffle online on camera so you can see i'm not making this up you and i was praying hoping before i started the video that you're not gonna see devil energy and here we are we just started we are two minutes in already devil energy showing up around you a lot of you are dealing with the leo some kind of karmic you may have some kind of very karmic heavy duty connection from past lives with the leo in your life also leo because these are major arcanas Leo, and I'm not uh, reading the devil energy Capricorn, but what's surrounding it, two major arcanas that are surrounding it. So a lot of you have very toxic relationship with a Leo. Uh, I shouldn't say toxic. Well, yeah, because the devil is toxic energy. With the Leo, your opposite sign, and also Aries from past lives where the two of you had very turbulent, toxic situations in past lifetimes, and you need to really balance that karma let's see what's coming towards what's coming to you have a lot of your queries are dealing with a person in your life could be a family member or um a significant other that's a sagittarius but that sagittarius is helpful to you <coughs> excuse me yeah, look at this Sagittarius showing up here to the rescue. There is somebody very helpful to you in your life that is a Sagittarius. This is you trying to be strong, but you really feel insecure inside. You lack self-confidence. This is not a good combination to describe a person. Emperor with nine of wands. You, you, you don't see your own inner strength. No, you don't. You you lack self-confidence in yourself. So, yeah. So, there are some toxic people in your family. But you're balancing your karma with those people. You're balancing heavy-duty karma with those people. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of uncertainty in your mind about your future. Where your life is heading where your relationships with other yeah you see you feel bound to toxic people in your life like you yeah you see those toxic people are bringing you uh, a lot of heartbreak in your life you're holding on to them for some reason heartbreak look at this devil three of swords eight of swords like you are unable to see clearly how to get out of it for a lot of you, you can't get out of it because it's karmic. You need to balance your karmic debts with those people. If you try to get out of it, you may, but you're going to have to meet them again next lifetime 
and pick up exactly where you leave off in this lifetime to balance that karma. Karma needs to be balanced. Yeah, we can't just escape it or wish it away. We need to work through it. That's why we all live so many lifetimes. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with the Leo person in your life that obviously is your opposite sign that feels uh, like there's a lot of work to do. Also, Aries. Um, but look at this. You're balancing your karma because even though you have the moon card, you have sun card present. So you're balancing a lot of karmic debts. You're learning through those challenging, toxic relationships. Yeah. Wow. And here Aquarius showing up with the devil. So a lot of you are dealing with very toxic Aquarius in your life. It keeps showing up over and over again. But you're showing up as very resilient, very strong, trying to see clearly what you need to do and walk away from toxic people, situations, relationships, jobs, whatever it may be. You are seeing clearly. Yeah, you see, you have a lot of toxicity around you, fake people. <clears throat> Another Aquarius in your life that's very fake with you. Uh, fake with themselves too. So anybody who sabotages their own life is going to be toxic to people around them. Let's see about your soulmate. So Aquarius, this is going to be the person you're thinking of or watching this video. No matter what sign or gender they are and whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. The soulmate of Aquarius. The soulmate of Aquarius. What's going on with the soulmate of Aquarius? And how is the soulmate of Aquarius currently relating to Aquarius, especially emotionally? What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling? The soulmate of Aquarius. So this wants to show up as extra. <clears throat> Three of Cups. The Chariot. This is good. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo, also Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. So no matter what sign or gender this person is, they're showing up here as happy-go-lucky, wanting to live their life, enjoy their life, analyzing, assessing the present situation in life, trying to make best decisions for themselves. Wow, the devil. So there's major toxic energy between the two of you, you and your soulmate. Let's clarify what's going on with the soulmate. Yeah, what is going on with the soulmate of Aquarius? Some of you dealing with um, a very strong Capricorn that's stubborn. Yeah, this person is trying to distract themselves, be happy. Yeah, they feel very guarded towards you emotionally, very guarded, indecisive, uh, hesitant, very guarded emotionally, problems with communication between the two of you. Yeah, they feel stressed out, burdened. Leo again, but the sun here, this is good with three of cups here. This person... Views, well, this is beautiful. That's a beautiful combination. The sun and the moon together. They're trying to find balance. They're trying to understand this connection from a higher perspective, not just looking at it from regular life, but spiritually trying to understand the connection, the dynamic between the two of you. Ups and downs, the roller coaster that we are all on when we hear. No matter what kind of relationship we're in, whether it's romantic or not, we're always on constant roller coasters, trying to learn things, deal with it, communicate. Wow. You have a lot of, and this person is aware, you have a lot of shady, fake people in your family who are meddling, talking behind your back, backstabbing you jealous of you so you have a lot of toxicity in your life uh, that's karmic that you're gonna have to resolve uh, you you can't escape it karma cannot be escaped people think they can escape karma no none of us can the only way we're gonna balance it is working through it actual putting uh putting actual work into it 
So this is, this is you dealing with a lot of fake people surrounding you. Uh, people who are sabotaging their own lives. So anybody who is self-destructive is going to try to pull the people down with them. Um, so somehow this person of yours is feeling the toxicity from your family. Ugh. My God. Um... A lot of you are dealing with Capricorn. Let's clarify this. Universe, what's going on? The soulmate of... The soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius. This person feels very withdrawn. Like they need to get away. Um, a lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. Yeah. They feel like they need to get away... Um, they feel toxicity. This person wants to put in work into this, though. Hmm. They view you as very withdrawn emotionally. Therefore, they feel they need to be withdrawn emotionally. You have too many people meddling in your business. Yeah, look at all these court cards. You have too many people in the family meddling with your business. Um, my God. Let me see more for you, Aquarius, to help you out more. Then we're going to go into your extended. Universe, please show us more for Aquarius. Highest good, please. Justice. Yeah. Justice, Empress. So you have a lot of power within you that you I don't think you recognize. You have a lot of power within you to do things. You're balancing heavy-duty karma with a lot of people in your family. You're showing up here, whether you're male or female, you're showing up here as mother figure to a lot of people, nurturing, caring, loving. Uh, so you have heavy-duty karma you're balancing with your relatives in this lifetime. Yeah, even relatives who married into the family, so they not necessarily your blood relatives, but you know them on a soul level from other lifetimes. Yeah, major duty, heavy duty karma, you balancing justice with wheel of fortune. A lot of you are dealing with uh, sneaky Gemini also in another Aquarius. Yeah. This is you um, learning the best you can and you learning self-love. You learning to love yourself, to respect yourself through these challenging situations, especially in the family. Through these challenging situations in the family, you learning to stand up for yourself, say no to anything that's toxic. This is you learning self-love in this lifetime. Yeah, well, it's been challenging for you, very challenging. This is you, very independent. You are self-sufficient, self-reliant. You're not giving yourself enough credit. Yeah, you really don't need anybody. A lot of you are successful in your own business. You really don't need anybody to sustain you in any way. It looks like other people are draining you, though. They feel like they need you. To sustain, to sustain them. They're not learning their lessons. So you're going to have to let some of those people say, listen, I'm not changing your diapers anymore. You're an adult. You're responsible for yourself. You need to learn your own lessons. Yeah. So we're going to go into your extended reading, Aquarius, and ask about your soulmates, current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. Anything they hiding from you, whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit, on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. Uh, and anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. 
So Aquarius, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Thank you so much guys for joining me.